What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome to Chapter 6, The Legend of Cat Widow. That's me. Is it going to be like The Legend of Korra, or The Legend of Zelda, or The Legend of... I, I, I don't know any more legends, but that's besides the point, because this is The Legend of the Cat Lady. Is that our apartment? No, oh, no, this is our apartments here. Our, our flats. I'm sorry, they're not apartments. Herald. Well, well, I'm hearing some very scary noises, and it's very nice, actually. Yay! Hey, it's another car. And another car. Maybe that's our car. Do we have a car? I highly doubt it, actually. All right. Well. Oh, we are in flat four. I see the number now. Oh, what's going out? Oh, I'm coming out. Oh, it's Mitzi as well. Ah, oh, we're gonna go investigate the people here now. We're really going to do it, aren't we? That was only a third yes, parasite, Mitzi. wasn't it? You will finally get your closure. Maybe I will get mine too. I guess it would be the fourth you parasite. Take that map with you. If. Yes. We can always refer to it if we get lost. If the pet I've lived in this building for many years. Oh, sorry, I won't get I'll lost, Mitzi. But it'd be a good idea to cross people off. Once we're sure it's not them, how would you even sure give us a like clear picture of how far we've got? Yeah. Right. Okay. Good well, luck. I like today. your I like your suggestion. Mitzi. Are you sure you're feeling up to it? Yeah, this you're almost recent murdered. Incident. It must have been pretty tough for you. No, I'm good. All right, bet Never you are. Say. Okay. All right, you now have Mitzi in your inventory. Use Mitzi's picklock abilities. Ask for advice if you get stuck. That's funny. Lol. Okay. Well, now my apartment's making creepy noises. So, what was I gonna say? Crap, I was gonna say something. Well, poop. Examine. Joe Davis lives in here with his wife. I haven't seen them for a while now, though. Maybe they're gone for a holiday. Hey, let's take a look at a map. Check map. Check map! Okay, so we're in flat four. Press any button to close. So, alright, this is the married couple right here. They're totally gonna be dead. I know it. Listen, make sure there's no one in there. Oh, that weird face. I think I heard something. Nope, it was probably just my magic and indignation. Nope, it was the cats eating them this time. Okay then. Nobody. Nobody knows. I guess they're not in. That's great. I never liked them that much. That was some creepy noises. It's gonna be locked. It's locked. Okay. Well, let's use Mitzi. So, what next? Let's look around first. We must check, we must check everyone. everyone. I'm not really sure I'm going to use one of these flats. Okay. Uh, let's use Mitzi. She, she still looks like Edward Can you unlock this door for us? Oh, yeah. See? I knew see. I knew she had pick locks. I knew it. Blimey. You don't see these very yeah, often. Yeah. I mean, you could totally this tell you're trying. This is a very special lock. It would take someone much more skilled than me to open it. Oh. Great. I thought you were an expert. I am. But this lock is just beyond me. How? Why would anyone need one of these here? It must have something to hide. Hmm, is there any other way we can get inside then? Through the windows, probably? Well, not unless we can find some plastic explosives or a pneumatic drill. <laughs> yeah, we don't have one of those. Or well, a key. we don't yet, but no. Yeah, because I'm sure there's a key lying around here somewhere. This can be oh, under the floor max. My friend? Let's try to think positive. Well, let's keep looking. Well, kind of feel like if this was a real life situation, like people are trying to go into apartments for this kind of reason, I feel like this would happen on every single door ever. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's break our way down, actually. So let's go up. This place really needs some remodeling. Or just to be redone, like 100%. But, you know. You know, bro. Okay. Cable, what the heck? Cable is hanging loose. I don't think it's very safe. Pull it. Why not? If you could pull them out, I'd cuff electricity in both flats. Unfortunately, they're too firmly attached to the meter. Okay, examine. It's actually a meter for both flats. Switch off. 
Um, I'll be right back, guys. And I'm back. Oh, I switched it off. I was like, why, why is it so dark all of a sudden? It's open. Hello. It's just a trip to use, don't worry. I'll just flip this switch, and we're back. Who the heck's this guy Jessie, again? Jesse, can we talk to you for a second? Sure, sure, but not right now. Who's Jesse? I'm right in the middle of something. Do we know his name? Oh. We said just a second. Come on. Okay, let's check out this thing. Noise. Oh. He's he's a gamer. Come on, he's definitely a gamer. Right? So, what now? Let's look around. Okay. Can we knock? Somebody's knocking at the door. Is he gonna answer? No, of course not. Great. I want to answer. Is he deaf? Yeah, definitely not. Open. I think Jesse's on. I just can't barge in. <laughs> sure, you can. He, see? Yep, he's a gamer. There's literally no other explanation. <laughs> But she gonna comment on this? Anything? Nothing. Okay, well. Let's go back. This oh, hello. Just looking at it is painful. I bet it is. Poor little itty bitty Susan. Examine. This is where Pauline lives. She's a young mother and until recently a busy hotelier? What's that mean? She's just working in a hotel? Oh, that's a babby. Hopefully there aren't poisonous flowers with a storm in there as well. Because those don't mix very well. Aww, I probably made Susan sad to listen to babies crying. God damn, What's move out wrong? of the way, Edward Susan Hands. Or <laughs> I... <laughs> she doesn't want to go in there. I really baby. don't feel that comfortable around babies, you know? Don't understand why, really. Yeah, I can imagine. I cannot. I talked to her, but I'm not quite sure how to approach this. Me I'm hardly either. an expert on babies myself. Well, she's not... If only we had some good reason to talk to this woman. Well, crap. What do you mean? Something like... I don't know. Something to talk about. You left We your... can't just knock on a door and talk about the weather. You left your thingy outside. Let's go somewhere else, then. We can always come back here yeah, later. Yeah, it doesn't really seem to be like we could do anything here for now. All right. Could we, like... No. Okay. What, what happens if we, like, pick lock? Bad idea. I think he's home. <laughs> Why not? It'd be funny. Oh, fancy seeing you here, woman that owns this place. Alright. Can we pick this lock? Will there be any reason to? Let's see what she says. Are we breaking in? Bad idea, Mrs. A. Yeah, I agree. Rule number one. Never break in when the owner's home. I don't see why. I see. That's a silly so, rule. So, there's a whole rule book for amateur burglars? No. Just two rules, really. What's the second rule? What's rule number two? Yeah. Never take cynical cat ladies on a job with you. Oh, They will put you on every snap. action into question, make fun of you, and eventually put you at risk of getting caught. Lol. Should I go home? <laughs> no, please don't. I can't do this without you. Adorable. That's okay. better. Alright. Well, okay. Well, it doesn't seem we can do anything here. Unless for some reason we could pull these now. Yeah, we can't do that, anything. Okay, let's go to the next floors down, which is six and five. And see if there's anything we could do over here. Oh, this is scary. Salmon. I hung here a lot here to dry a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want that back either. What if it catches fire? I remember I put a rag over a lamp once thinking or it was like a pink rag and it made the room look all cool. I was like, wow, so cool. Twenty minutes later I smell like a burning smell. What the heck is that? And it turns out the rag started to like burn. It didn't catch fire, but it was all brown from like burning and stuff. An old man lives here, I don't think it's crap. What do you say? An old man lives here, I don't think it'll be long until he's taken into care, but right now he still seems independent enough to do shopping and cleaning. Sometimes I see him in the hallway. The polite guy always says hello and smiles. So something's not quite right about him. Early stage of dementia, perhaps? Is it dementia or dementia? I always say dementia. Hello? Is there any old men in here? I think I heard some cough. He's home, alright. Alright. Thank God all these noises are happening just as you, you know, like, come to Would the Would you places. like to talk to him? Sure. I'll pretend I'm doing one of those customer surveys. Old people usually have time to answer lots of stupid questions. True. Look at that ghost rag we have in our inventory. They just want some attention, <laughs> Mitzi. Oh. Poor guy. 
I feel bad for old people. He's not gonna answer. He's totally deaf, isn't he? Welp. Oh, there he is. Hello there, sir. If you could spare us just a few minutes of your time, we'd like to ask some questions about your internet service provider. I don't have internet. What the hell? I'm heck not interested. Isn't internet? I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Oh. What? But we're not trying to sell anything. It's just a little survey. What? Wait a second. I, I can't hear what you're saying, sweetie. Uh -huh. Let me get my hearing aid. He's not coming back. You think he'll be back with a shotgun? Probably. Don't Wait, be what? silly. Why is my voice this stuck isn't like America. this? Oh yeah, we're in London. Hello. Uh, I thought I heard someone. Oh, he forgot what we were here. Want? Do you live alone? Do you own a computer connected to the internet? Do you own computer connected to the internet? Say again. Right. Okay. Do you? I can't hear you very well, dear. Did you hearing you'll aid again? You'll have to speak up. I'm an old man, you know. I was hearing aid I'll be 85 this year. For the 28th year in a row. Do you live alone? When you're an old man like me, you end up watching all your friends and family die. Yeah. I'll be 85 this year. Yeah, he definitely has, like, Alzheimer's. I still cook my dinner, and I make my bed every morning all by myself. And I am 85 this year. So... You do live alone, then. Uh oh that's Look, creepy. young lady, I don't need any help. I've told them already. Who's them? I can manage just fine. I can still cook my dinner. Yep. And I make my bed every morning he definitely has all Alzheimer's. by myself. And not that it's any of your business. But when I die, I'll die in my own home, in my own bed. He's totally dying. I'm honestly not trying to take that away from you. We're just here to ask about... I will not have anyone washing me, or, or dressing me, or feeding me. Uh, I can manage. I've done it all my life, and it'll stay this way. Let's get tell us about I how he's... still yep, cook yep, my there bed, we go. And, and I make my dinner every morning. Cook my bed? By myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Was this season supposed to be cook my bed? <laughs> Do you have it? <laughs> Do you have a computer? There's no need to shout. <laughs> oh, I've Lord. got my hearing aids. Uh -huh. I can hear what you're saying. Sorry. Crazy old coat. A young, pretty lady Ooh. like yourself wouldn't understand about old age. We live in two different worlds, dear. I'm and not if a you're here to make fun of me, why won't you just go ahead and be done with it? No, oh. no. With all respect, I... I just wanted to ask if you by any chance own a computer. No nope. pardon? A computer! Wait a second, dear. I think I need to change the batteries in my hearing aid. I must have forgotten uh. to switch them off last night. Interesting, however, when you bring up the uh, I'll be computer, right back. that's uh, when he wait. gets all weird. Is he gonna close the door? Jesus. Whenever we bring up the computer, that's I when he can't think I've hear got anything. Patience for this, Mrs. A. To be honest, the chances that he's our guy are pretty slim. True. I think we should go. <laughs> yeah, this is pointless. Even if he did have a computer, he probably wouldn't even remember how to switch it on. Let's say goodbye quickly and try to look elsewhere. Yeah. If he comes back. He's totally Can I up. help you? Not really. We were just going. What? I don't want to buy anything. Yeah. I told you before. All that I'm not though. interested. I don't Poor have guy. any money. Go bother someone else. Okay, we're going. Okay. I didn't mean to pry. Please accept might as my well, apology. Might as well exhaust no, her no, options. No, it's me who should be sorry. I haven't even offered you ladies a cup of tea. Ooh. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Mary always liked her tea milky. Ew. She put the tea bag and the milk in first, and, and then finally... She'd add hot water. I kept telling her it's the wrong way, but she never listened. I have no idea. What she was I don't have so tea ever. stubborn, my Mary. I miss her every day. Aww. Poor Mary. I'm sorry for your loss. Okay, can we go now? <laughs> is, that, is that it? Hello? Okay. Sorry to have bothered you, sir. 
We'll go now. Yes, we will. I'll see you later, ladies. Nope, never again. Bye. Next well, time fine. I'll do the talking, yeah? He's tough. Wouldn't answer a single question. True. Because it is the Eye of Atom. But he can't possibly be an internet whiz. Oh. Yep. He's just a lonely old man. That's what you want. That's what he wants life. us to think. Old man. Yay. That's a lot of writing for making an X. There we go. Okay. We, okay. Now there's nothing there to do anymore. Uh, I guess that's why, that's why I'd explain the rig that's still there. So you forgot about it. Since Brian doesn't own a car every day, he rides his bicycle to get to work. It's not. It's probably enjoy, but it's also his only means of transportation. I bet it'd be good if something happened to it. Nope. As much as I want to, the noise would only alarm him. Um, I'm sure I can think of a better way to get back at Brian. Aw, poor Brian. You know he's an asshole, but still. How funny would it be if the crank went missing? He probably won't even notice until the very last minute when he's all ready to leave for work with no time to spare. Remove! Can't be done by hand. I need some kind of tool to remove it. Uh, oh, maybe because it's too hot? Let's try the rig. Should we find a better place to use it? Well, okay. Fine. Rude. It's Brian's flight. deserves to be taught a lesson. If it wasn't for him, I would never have gotten kidnapped by the crazy guy and his cannibal wife. Really? Why? Oh, because he called pest control. Right. Okay, okay let's kick his bike and steal his crank then. Here's someone walking inside. Brian's definitely in. I don't want to knock, but we're going to knock. <laughs> No, nope, I don't want to talk to him. There must be some other way to get inside and check who, he's, who we're looking for. I really want to teach him a lesson and show him I'm not someone he should be messing with. Can we use this for some reason? I'm sure I can find a better place to use it. Okay. Um, this text is all messed. Okay, what if we walk more over here? Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's our flats. We've already been on the top floors. Two and one remain. I did forget to hit my timer properly in this episode, so I apologize if this is ending a bit early, but I guess we'll call an episode here. Kitty cats? Well, now I'm interested. Cats seem to be attracted to it, but why? Oh, crap. It's just an old sofa. The Morrisons left it here when they moved out. There's some stitches on it, and they look fresh. Has it been mended recently? There's a body in here. There's definitely a body in here. Note. From following, we apologize for the cluttering in the hall. The removal company has been called, and they will collect sofa and chairs soon. Uh, we're sorry for the inconvenience, but we're sure you, you can put up with these few items a bit longer, just like we put up with your dog for all these years. Morrison's. Oh, that's definitely great. Morrison's family used to live here. They moved a little. While. Oh, so there's no one in here anymore. Knock, knock, knock. No one's in here. You know, with our luck, it's going to be. The eye of Adam lives in here. And that is it gonna be open? It's locked. And it's you know, just gonna open by its so, or, wait what? The eye of Adam lived here and now he's gonna be gone. There's no one in here. Come on, let's be serial. Only silence. Although there's totally gonna be some serial killer in here, I know it. Okay, let's use Mitzi, pick the lock. Would you like to try your famous lock picking skills on this lock? Don't here? be completely useless, let's Mitzi, see. please. A young child could open this lock with a piece of wire. That's, That's me. fantastic. Have you done it yet? No. I can't work when you're looking over my shoulder. She can't show us her magic. Interesting how she's black and white. Do you mind? And I'm in color. No, sure. Oh, technicolor. I'll just walk away for a minute and stare at the wall if that's what it takes to get this done. Thanks. That's kind of weird that she doesn't want to show us this. Is that it? And now we're in black and white too. Interesting how everything goes black and white when we get close to the doors. Yay, she's done it. Oh, now we're in here. Welp. In the next episode, we'll investigate this flat and probably find some really weird shizzle, just like there's a spanner right here. How very awkward. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, please feel free to leave likes if you're already. My name's Chris, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.